Okay, so I'm gonna try to invite Miranda now. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm so glad to see your face. Same. It's been a while. I know. Last time I saw you was at the 99 launch event, right? It was, and I've been using the cream ever since. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Isn't it great? It tingles when you put it on your skin. It's amazing. I wasn't sure if you, you know, you never know until you actually try it, but I've been using it ever since, and my skin actually feels and look better than ever so yeah it's it's working <laughs> it definitely so, I, i've noticed with my pigmentation it's helped a lot because after having three kids my pigmentation just was going crazy uh-huh um, and so no it's it great helped. hold on i'm gonna put my do not disturb on my phone so i don't have people like oh, okay <laughs> i'm back cool so how are you doing? What have you been up to? It's been, you know, a couple of crazy weeks or has it been five weeks now home with kids and everything and no school and Yeah, how, well, how um, Flynn's, Flynn's doing homeschooling and, um, you know, so there's been a lot of um, homeschooling like Zoom meetings and a lot of homework that um, I've been doing with him. And it's actually been, it's been really great for our family actually, because my husband's also working from home. Um, it's, I'm lucky that my mom has been here helping me with oh, my three amazing. kids. So my that's mom was great. here, yeah, she was here before we went into quarantine and then she's been with us this whole time. Wow, that's super great. Lucky you, huh? So it's been such a blessing. And we celebrated her birthday in quarantine. And we also celebrated my birthday in quarantine on Monday. I know. Happy birthday. Did you Thank have a good birthday? You. Yeah, it was so lovely. My mom um, made me a delicious chocolate mousse cake, which was quite an indulgence, but one I really <laughs> enjoyed. Because I really think it's important to have those indulgences in your life. For sure. And um, yeah, and it was just great to be with, you know, my three boys and they made me, um, well, Evan made me little cards. Um, I'm not sure the, exactly the way he did it, but the kids each picked a flower for me from the garden. Uh -huh. And then he put it somehow, like it's like the shadow of the flower onto a piece of paper. And then he like somehow scanned it and then folded wow. it like a piece of paper card. Oh, and then, yeah, and then he got Hart to do, you know, a little drawing and then Flynn wrote his little note. And then Miles, our little six month old, he just put the pen in his hand for a second. And so, so that, that, that to me was the best gift. And also I got to have breakfast in bed. So that was also the best gift. That sounds like the perfect birthday. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Oh, that's great. And how is like work? Has, is it different? Do you always work from home or do you normally have an office you go into? So like, how's the whole work situation right now? Because do you run a great company? All of you who doesn't know, she has the most amazing company called Cora Organics. Oh, um, and you make the best, best, best products. So oh, thank you for saying that. So um, for me, because I have two little ones under two, I have been predominantly working from home like yeah. for a little while now. And throughout my last two pregnancies, I had some time where I had to be on bed rest. So I did, I mean, I'm quite used to working via email, via Skype calls, by yeah. FaceTime. Um, so for me, the, you know, it's been great. Um, it's been an adjustment for our team working from home, but everyone's working super efficiently and effectively. And, you know, I just feel really good about the fact that um, Cora Organics is obviously, you know, healthy for you, um, certified organic skincare, but it, it also, I, my intention with Cora is to also bring some light and, um, 
love into people's life when they're using the products hopefully they feel that that beautiful nourishing nurturing energy because every single product is filtered through rose quartz crystals so i'm just going to see if i have a rose quartz oh yeah here i have one here too yeah so this is a <laughs> rose quartz crystal um this so in the manufacturing process all of like the ingredients filter through um, in this in the big vat and they all touch upon rose quartz so obviously first and foremost we want the products to be super effective and give you the results that you need because I don't want to waste my time putting anything on my skin unless it's going to work I just celebrated my 37th birthday and I need active products that really work and keep my skin healthy and vibrant and glowing um, so first and foremost my products have to work but also I want them to feel like when you're having, you know, your routine and you're cleansing your face and you're misting your face and you're moisturizing, I want you to feel that love. And that's the whole point mm -hmm. of filtering the products through the rose quartz. So you can feel that little bit of magic and you can feel that nurturing energy and that intention. And also on the back of the products, there's a positive word. Um, so for instance, on the back of the Noni Glow face oil, the word on the back is bliss. That's right. Yeah. So I you just love this before the little words. I love that. Yeah. Um, and on the sleeping mask, it's vitality. Uh huh. And on my turmeric glow, one of my favorites. Radiant. This is amazing. I no, keep it in the so shower. And same. My husband uses it. I use it. Like it, he actually uses it every single day. I'm tempted to use it every day as like a scrub in the shower. And sometimes I do because it's so invigorating. You're supposed to use it like every second day. Oh, but it's but so good. It. I, I do it so every good. day. It's so good. It, it really refines and, re and it polishes your skin. It's like a microdermabrasion. And if you want to leave it on as a mask, you can as well. That's amazing. So. Another thing, this, you know, you send me this oh one. Oh my goodness, one. I have it as well. Oh, it's so good. And my daughter, she drank my water the other day and she's like, Mom, this tastes so much better. I don't know what it is, but it tastes better when I pull up my water in, in this bottle. Yeah, the crystals, the crystals in there so that the water is energized with rose quartz. So you're getting that nourishing, um, as I said, that, you know, that humble, gentle, loving energy. And my daughter, yeah, she can totally it. It's, I mean, I, these are tools that have worked for me throughout my life. Um, and that's why I've tried to incorporate them into, you know, and I've tried to explain to other people, like, these are things that have helped me and have helped me feel really good in my life and help support me. So I'd mm -hmm. like to share that knowledge with other people. I um, love that. It feels like you're so connected with yourself, with the earth, with like a very spiritual person. Has it always been that way? Or is it something that came later on in life? So ever since I was a little girl, I was, I love being outside. Like my favorite thing is to be outside and in nature. And my grandparents had a wonderful farm. So I had in so much room to kind of explore outside and they had a willow tree. And so myself and my brother and my cousins, we'd climb the willow tree every afternoon after school. And my grandfather, he was a house mover. And when he was moving houses, like literally like picking up houses, you know, and then moving them, that was a thing that they did back in Australia when, you know, back a long time ago when I was a little girl. <laughs> um, and when he would do that, he would find these big geode crystals and he would bring them back for my grandmother. And sometimes they would be um, like broken open. Sometimes they would be like a full geode. Sometimes, you know, there'd be little pieces. And he bought them back for my grandmother. And my grandmother wasn't really that interested. She was like, and I, as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh my goodness, they're amazing. Can we play with them? And so we put them underneath the willow tree. And so it was like this magical willow tree and I didn't even realize the the benefits of crystals at the time but I was drawn to them 
And I, it wasn't until I was about 13 that I um, went to, I was on holidays with my family and we were in Byron Bay and they had this store and they had all these crystals in there and then had explanations about different crystals and how they have different benefits for you. And I was really drawn to the rose quartz. And um, ever since I've had rose quartz as part of my life, like I have the crystals with me. I used to wear a little teeny tiny rose quartz in my bra. But now that I'm breastfeeding, my six month old, it just it doesn't work because, you know, it flies out and I don't want any accidents happening. So I keep, you know, crystals around me and I have all my products, as I said, are filtered through the rose quartz crystal. Some of the, them actually contain the rose quartz crystal, like the eye roller ball in our mm -hmm. eye oil has the beautiful rose quartz. Do you have it there? This one, right? Yes. Yeah, that one. So yeah. it has a rose quartz crystal. So when you're putting it on your eyes, you can feel that. And then I have my gua sha that I made. So I designed this um, shape. How do you use that one? So this is a gua sha. So you can use it on your like acupressure points. I'm, when I massage in my Noni Glow face oil, uh -huh. I use this and I just like lift up all around my face and it's really great because you have different points like this point here you can get like in the tension areas in the back of your neck that's your amazing i need to do that have you got this one no oh i need to send this to you so gua sha is like um an ancient massage technique that you can do all over your body but i specifically made this one for your face but i actually use it all over my oil over my body too that's amazing you. so what is, can you tell us a little bit about your beauty routines in the morning when you wake up what like what is your beauty routine so my husband still wakes up even in quarantine 5 30 every morning that's like my husband <laughs> he's, he's very like has such a great routine and then he goes down into his office you know from about yeah 6 6 30 you know after he has his coffee um, and then, so I have that time from 5.30 till 6.30 until the babies wake up Yeah. Um, to myself. So what I do is I'll do a little meditation, a few little stretches. I do like different types of meditation. I've learned like TM meditation, yeah. um, another incredible meditation is like Kriya Yoga meditation. Huh. And that's a really, really beneficial one. Or you can go to Inside Timer. And you can just pick a random guided meditation, which is also really nice. And sometimes I do that. But I've been meditating since at least I was 18, maybe younger. Oh, wow. That's um, amazing. And I find it's just really grounding and, and um, very beneficial for that whole mind-body connection. Mm -hmm. So anyway, getting back to my skincare routine. So after I do a little meditation for like 20 minutes, I then dry body brush. So I use a dry body brush all over my um, body, moving upwards. And I feel like it just, it obviously gets the circulation going, gets the lymphatic system going. It feels uh, re-energizing for me personally. And, um, and then after I dry body brush, I jump in the shower. I, I have my turmeric scrub in the shower. I love to use it. It, um, and I have my body wash in the shower, which is good mm -hmm. for the whole family, the Core Organics body wash. Um, for the kids, I use it as a shampoo for the kids. And, um, and so that's good. And, and, then, and then a body wash for us. And so I cleanse my face, then I get out and I mist. And after I mist my face, I put on the Noni Bright Vitamin C Serum. Mm-hmm which has been amazing um, as well in like helping combat the pigmentation. It helps with fine lines and wrinkles. It really is a very um, natural brightening treatment serum. Um, and it has, you know, acerola cherry, kakadu plum. Um, it has the lemon in there. There's all this beautiful citrus extracts in there. And it really helps, as I said, with the brightening. So after that, I then use the Noni Glow face oil and um, massage that in with my gua sha. Yeah. 
And then I put moisturizer on, on top of that. I use the hydrating moisturizer from Cora. Mm -hmm. And then I'll put my eye oil on, which feels amazing because of the rose quartz rollerball. And I use that eye oil, um, not only around my eyes, but I use it sometimes here where I feel like I'm getting some wrinkles and here and on my lip line. Yeah, because it's on my lip too. Yeah, because it has natural um, retinol in there. So that really helps with the fine lines. Um, so the natural retinol that we use is called Kahai oil. And it's, it's really beneficial for helping uh, minimize those, you know, the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. That's so awesome. That's, yeah, that's my morning, so that's uh, morning routine. That's so great. So if you could only invest in like three products from Core Organics, which one are your, I know it's so hard because they're all amazing, but if someone can only buy three, what do you recommend them? Well, definitely the two is the turmeric two in one, which I said, yeah. this can be used like th these two products can basically, you can have an at home facial. You scrub your skin. You can leave this on at, like it's a microdermabrasion type treatment scrub. You can also leave it on as a deeply detoxifying mask. And then you apply the Noni Glow face oil. And that, is so nourishing. Um, it's full of antioxidants. It's got the rose hip oil in there as well. It's got vitamin C in there. Um, it's really, really great as your essential fatty acids as well. And I'm just trying to think of, I honestly feel like this product people need to know about more. It's a sleeping Which one mask. Is that one? This is oh, a this sleeping, sleeping Yeah. And yeah. so this product, seriously has been like the holy grail for me because having three kids I don't get much sleep especially with the two under two so this helps my skin it plumps my skin um so you put it on at night after you've done all of your routine so at night you know I put the serum on I then yeah. put I put the night serum on then I put the oil on then I put my moisturizer and I keep this next to my bed and okay. I put it on, it locks in the moisturizer and it locks in all of the hydration. It doesn't oh, wow. rub off on your pillow, it dries. It's, um, and you wake up and your skin is literally like glowy, dewy, plump. It looks like you've had a full eight hour sleep, which is what I'm <laughs> desiring, but never getting right now. How, being is mama. How is the sleep looking right now? How often does he need to breastfeed during the night? So at the moment, I'm having Miles because he's six months old. So the last time I feed him is 11 p.m. And okay. then around about 3 a.m., he wakes up again. And right now, I'm trying to transition him into just like like patting him back to sleep as opposed to breastfeeding him. And then I breastfeed him at 6.30 a.m. again in the morning. Wow. The okay. aim is for him to sleep from 11 till 6.30. Yeah. But we're not fully there yet. Um, and then Hart, he goes to sleep. Some nights he'll sleep from 6.30 p.m. So he's almost two. So he'll sleep yeah. from 6.30 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. But That's some amazing. nights he wakes up like two or yeah. three times in the night because maybe he's teething or maybe he's had a bad dream or maybe he's, yeah. he's a diaper change and he'll be like, mom. And I'm like, whoa, okay. <laughs> and like, it's, it's sweet and it's fine. And I go and I, you know, and I do whatever we need to do, you know, change his diaper or whatever it is. But yeah. it's really hard for me to actually go back to sleep. So then I meditate. That's when I'll be like, okay, I'll do a meditation. Or... And does that and help that's... you then fall asleep? What's that? What helps you fall asleep if you meditate? Yeah, it definitely yeah. helps me fall asleep and um, get out of my mind and back into my heart, which I feel is really important. Yeah. Okay, so Miranda, I have some questions from, I asked my followers to um, ask you some questions. I'm going to read some of them to you and you can answer them. So one is wondering, do you think organic beauty products really works? I guess you're the yes. living example of that, right? But uh, tell us yes. a little bit. So there's a very big difference between organic products and just clean beauty. So the reason I feel my products with Cora Organics are getting such incredible results is because the products are certified organic and we use, and the certified organic ingredients that we use, there was just a study done by Cambridge 
that says up to 69% of, um, there are up to 69% more antioxidants in an organic ingredient than a non-organic ingredient. So wow. that itself is so much more than just a clean beauty product because we're using those certified organic ingredients, they're, they have up to 69% more antioxidants, which therefore means more powerful results, more glowing skin, more active um, ingredients that really give you the skin that you want, glowy, dewy, natural, you know, helping those fine lines, helping that pigmentation, trying to, you know, really give your skin all the best um, nutrients so that it can thrive. And if you give your skin the right nutrients, then I believe that like healthy skin is the most beautiful skin. And that's when your skin is glowing. And honestly, I can tell you, so I started Cora Organics. Um, oh my God, I launched in Australia in 2009. Oh, wow. And, okay. Yeah. And then we only launched here and internationally um, coming up to three years ago in May. So it's, you know, I, ever since I've been using Quora, I honestly feel my skin is better than it's ever been. And, you know, I am the guinea pig. I tr tr test and try all the products on myself. And I'm so excited. We have a new product launching, which I can't really talk to anyone about, we can't talk about just yet, but I have an exciting new product launching um, uh, in a month, so around May 18th. And you've seen it, you know all about it. I tried it and I'm really excited. It, it's yeah. Good. Thank you, yeah. And yes. it's, it's all about like reflecting that light and beautiful glowy skin, so. Yeah. Totally. Okay, next question. Um, what is your quarantine style like? Are you one of those that get dressed in the morning or do you stay in your sweatpants all day when you're home? Oh, I'm very much about getting dressed because it makes a big difference to how I'm feeling. And by the way, this is one of your dresses. See here? I love it. Uh -huh. This is one of your dresses and it's so comfortable. And when I put it on, my son was like, Mommy, I love that dress. Like, <laughs> love oh, it. Yeah. And so getting dressed in the morning is really important. And I feel like, you know, it's part of my routine and it gives me, um, it makes me feel good and put together. It's like I do my skincare routine. I get myself dressed, you know, I get the kids dressed. We all have our breakfast. It's, it's important because then you feel better and you feel more energized and yeah. Totally it's easy agree. to stay home and, and be in your sweats. And I must say, yes, I have done that, but I feel better when I do get dressed. I agree. Totally agree. Okay. So someone is wondering, who were your biggest style icon growing up? Well, my grandmother really influenced me um, in so many ways from a little girl. She is a very stylish woman and we grew up without very much money at all. And my grandmother... She just knew how to put pieces together. And it was about simplicity. It was about, she had a friend who would, um, she would buy fabric and her friend would make her skirts to fit and that would, you know, go just like below the knee, or, you know, and it would hit at the perfect angle. And my grandmother just, she really just taught me to, um, like kind of like less is more when it comes to fashion and, the simplicity and the elegance and the grace that you carry yourself with can really transform an outfit. I love that. Yeah. Um, okay, next question. If you didn't work with what you do right now, what would you be doing? If you didn't run your company, what would you be doing? I'm just so passionate about health and wellness and the mind, body, spirit connection. Um, and, you know, I studied nutrition, so it would be in the health and wellness field. Amazing. Uh, let's see. Let's pick one more before I end it with my 10 quick questions that I have for you. Um, let me see. How are you finding time for yourself? Because you're so busy, a mom of three. How, I guess you told us earlier that but you do it in the morning, you do your meditation in the morning and your self-care in the morning. Is there any other time of day or advice you have for working women out there to find some time for themselves? It's pretty tricky finding time for yourself, especially with the breastfeeding. Um, 
it's definitely a balancing act and I, I know that I have that time for myself in the morning before they wake up and I know that when they go to bed around 6 30 I then have time for myself and and my yeah. husband um it's really tricky to kind of and then when they're sleeping so then both napping right now which is why I'm able yeah. to do wellness Wednesday and thank goodness my mom is watching the baby monitors can you imagine I'd be like oh <laughs> Uh, sorry, just have to run off with the baby <laughs> in my I love live it. chat. Um, so yeah, so I, I know that I have that time, which I normally book conference calls with my team. Um, yeah. And so I build my life around their nap schedule and yeah. I'm able to answer emails and whatnot. And yeah, you just do the best that you can. And I feel like being a parent, there's always that guilt that you want to give more and do more and okay. but it's also important that the kids know that for my kids I feel it's important that they know that both mom and dad work and um it's not you know for me it's like not always like play time there is like time when mom has to work and dad has to work and and then you know when at the end of the day we have our routine of having bath time, you know, together, reading books together, winding down, having dinner together. And yeah. That, they, they love that and they appreciate it. Talking about dinner, do you eat super healthy in your house? Yes, but I do like a little indulgence. I try to eat 80% healthy, like just generally speaking, and organic and fresh um, locally. Yeah. And then 20% um, indulgent because I really feel it's important to like have that balance in life. I think totally. that sometimes we can be too hard on ourselves. And I just think that it's really important to be like kind and gentle with yourself and enjoy moments. And like, if you know, I want to, my husband, he loves unhealthy food. So sometimes I'll enjoy, you know, unhealthy food with him. He makes the most actual like delicious, like, burgers and like guacamole and chips and sometimes I'll indulge in that you know yeah what is like if you can have because it's hard for people where it doesn't come natural to eat, uh, eat healthy what is a good breakfast lunch and dinner that's easy to make but still healthy for the body I really love starting my day with the cold pressed celery juice so first of all when I start my day I start it with um have a one of these big bottles Mm -hmm. I think it's like 32 ounces. I do water with um, lemon. So one lemon squeezed in there with the water. Then I have this much celery juice. And then I make... Um, the How much celery medium. juice? Yeah, I have that much celery juice. Wow. 32 ounces. And then huh? I make the medical medium detox smoothie, which is actually in here. Um, so you can find that online. And then I'll have like oatmeal or you know, sourdough with avocado on toast. And then what else? For lunch, I'll have at the moment, like a lot of like stir fry vegetables. Um, I really love steamed potatoes. That's mm -hmm. a favorite of mine. Um, just like, I think that potatoes have like a bad rap and I am love potatoes and I love greens. Like, yeah. And then, and then, so lots of stir fry vegetables um, with a little bit of grilled fish or chicken, and you know, alternating that in the night. That's so. great. Okay, so Miranda, I have ten quick questions for you. So, okay. cook yourself or order in? Cook. I love to cook. Favorite cocktail? Campari and soda. Exercise of choice. Yoga, Kundalini yoga. Hmm. Morning person or night owl? owl? Um, I'm a night owl for sure, but I've had to learn to be a morning person because of the kids and my husband. My husband is 100% a morning person. And I'm what time like, in the night, I'm then? like, hello, anyone else? <laughs> what time do you go to bed then now? Well, my husband goes to bed so early, like he's in bed by 9, 9.30. And mm -hmm. so he's always like, Miranda, Miranda, come on. And I'm just pottering <laughs> around the house, cleaning, tidying, doing an extra load of washing. Like, I just, I love that time to myself at night. And also getting emails, you know, 
from Australia because and internationally yeah. and things. So it's the time that I can do that. And so he's always like, Miranda, come on. Um, so I get to bed somewhere between like probably 10.30, 11. But I have to feed the baby. So sometimes I'll like take a nap before I have to feed the baby if I can. Yeah. And then feed him and then go back to sleep after I've fed him. So That's great. Okay. So coffee or tea? Oof, both. Definitely, like, I love lemon balm tea. It's a yeah. very great tea. Lemon balm tea with honey. It's simple and easy. My husband is obsessed with coffee. And I know it's not that healthy for you, but it's part of one of my indulgence. Like, I'll have, like, an almond milk coffee every now and then. Same. It's so good. Okay. Uh, three things always in your bag. Hmm. Well, at the moment, a little car, like a little car for my son, because he's just constantly wants to play with a little car. Mm -hmm. um, I always carry this rose quartz in my bag because if I have okay. any tension, like I can just like pr press the pressure points. You can press the pressure points here. And then another thing in my bag, what do I, I always have a water. That's for sure. Water. Water. How much water do you drink every day? I just... Oh my goodness, I couldn't even tell you, like maybe four of these. Yeah, I gotta step up my intake. <laughs> uh, who is your hero? Mm. That's a tough one. Because my mom is my hero because there's nothing that she can't do. But also, and, and she is so inspiring in so many ways to me mm. and I'm so grateful for her. But my husband is also my hero because he's so intelligent and he, I like go to him if I have any, um, if I have like anything, like he's the first person I go to, like any challenges or any upset, I'm always like, and so he's my knight in shining armor. That's amazing. Okay, favorite book. This is my favorite book right here, actually. Truth vs. Falsehood, David Hawkins. Wow. Yeah. What is that about? I haven't read it. It's, it's, this book is like I've had for a very long time, as you can see. Um, it's all about consciousness and how to evolve the consciousness of yourself and uh, really release um, any attachment to ego. So just becoming more heart-centered and, yeah, staying in truth as opposed to being in falsehood. Like okay. truth versus gonna... falsehood and how to tell the difference. And he writes, like, he's got the most incredible books. There's another book called Power Versus Force. Um, but the, this book I could, like, read again and again and I will always find something new that relates and, like, I connect with. So I love it. Amazing. I have to read that. Um, okay, favorite movie? Oh, um, well, I like The Big Blue. Do you know that movie, The Big Blue? No, I haven't it's seen it. A, it's an old movie, but I also really love Dirty Dancing. <laughs> I know it's cheesy, but I just love it. <laughs> awesome. Favorite song? Favorite song? Um, this woman named um, Snatam Kaur, K-A-U-R, um, she writes a song called, well, she sings a song called Long Time Sun. And it's a really beautiful song about, says, may the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. And I think that that's just like a wonderful way to live your life. Can you post that one on your story so we all can find that later? Because I would love to pick it up. Can you post like a slide on your story so we all can find it? Yes, yes, I will. I'll do that. I'll post a slide of um, her song and actually i'm gonna have her come and join us on wellness wednesdays oh, that's great yeah so we're just working out exactly which wednesday it'll be she's amazing she has the voice of an angel and like those type of songs to me really help me feel peaceful and at ease and you know i think it's really helpful that's amazing Miranda, thank you. We've been chatting for more than half an hour, I think. And wow, I, time just I know. Have, have your little baby to go back to. And, but thank you for taking the time. Is there anything else you want to add or tell everyone while, while we're on here? 
No, just that, you know, I'm thinking of everyone. Um, it's obviously a challenging time for everyone and I'm sending all my love and, and appreciation to all of those who are out there that are on the front lines and that are, you know, working so hard, working endlessly. They might be separated from their family. I just want you to know that I'm sending so much love and so much thanks and so much gratitude to you and um you know all of those people that are working in the supermarkets that are you know so that we are all doing our part as well and staying home so yeah i just have a lot of gratitude for everyone out there that you know is working and and helping us all do our part in staying home so thank you thank you that was beautiful thank you miranda and i cannot wait to see you soon and stay healthy and enjoy your family Thank you so much. Much love, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>